Does the author of a book on tithing have a fake doctorate degree? I purchased this book here on the topic kleptomaniac, who's really robbing God anyway, which you will notice is written by a Dr. Frank Chase, THD. I will be reviewing this book in an upcoming video in more detail, but because this author has made some recent comments publicly, he posted the comments for the public, it would be helpful to ask about this doctorate degree. First of all, if you spend any amount of time reading through academic journals and research papers or through professional literature, you will notice that people who have a THD or a PhD very rarely, if ever, call themselves both a doctor and also include the degree. Usually it's just one or the other. Usually when people use both, in my opinion, they are trying to really sell the idea that they are very accomplished, very educated, professional, or experts. I thought this was really interesting because a PhD and a THD are not the same thing. They are both doctorate degrees, but a THD is a doctorate in theology. It is a highly specialized, very rigorous research degree, and there are very few of these programs that are even available. For example, if you want to get a THD from Duke University, that will be at least two years of full-time residency. Usually this takes at least three to five years to complete and among other requirements you must be competent in two modern languages other than English. And because this is theology these are in addition to proficiency in Hebrew and Greek. So you have to speak English very well plus be proficient in biblical Greek and Hebrew and you also have to speak two other modern languages and you must maintain excellent grades and then you have to write and defend a dissertation that can take several years of research to accomplish and be accepted. You have to be very intelligent, a very gifted person to even get accepted into a THD program. So. When I saw that a THD wrote a dissertation on tithing, I found this really fascinating and I wanted to know where he went to school. The author publicly provides this information right here. He got a doctorate in theology in the year 2009 from the North Carolina College of Theology. But this gets really interesting because according to him, he has published this publicly. He received his master's from the same school just one year before in 2008. Now, this begs the question, how did he achieve the most advanced, rigorous degree in theological scholarship in just one year? Furthermore, you will notice that he also completed a master's degree in just one year, and also a bachelor's in just one year, all interestingly from the same school. Now, I have never in my life heard of the North Carolina College of Theology, so I searched the school, and one of the first recommendations is that it is fake. You can make up your mind about that. Anyways, if you visit the website, you will be asked about the College of Theology or the Bible Institute, which have the exact same address and exact same phone number. And according to their catalog, all that is required is to pay $3,000 and write a 25,000 word thesis. Now, this is kind of confusing because the only doctorate mentioned in their catalog is Doctor of Biblical Studies. But their website says that they do have a THD, which is about $5,000 and requires a dissertation with 55,000 words. So apparently, if you have the money and the dissertation, that's all that is required, which is radically different than the requirements of many THD programs elsewhere. It is also interesting that, to my knowledge, this college does not post or publish the dissertations of their students for the public. That's really interesting because, as far as I know, all, all the major universities and seminaries, they want to publish the dissertations of their doctorate students for all the world to see. But for some reason, this school doesn't want to. Anyways, recently a pastor published a video here about tithing and Dr. Chase, THD, responded publicly criticizing the video. And so, since this is all very public, I asked him the question. Your bio says that you got a master's in 2008 and then just one year later got a THD in 2009. Usually a THD takes at least three to five years, but you did this in just one year? He said, quote, it was a church school accelerated program. I wrote the book to fulfill my concern that THD requires a thesis and a published book. Now, 
This is a really strange response. What is an accelerated program? I've never heard of that. What does that even mean? And what does his concern have anything to do with the legitimate requirements of a THD? Again, this is all very public. He also posted a picture of himself holding his bachelor's degree. So where is the picture of the master's and THD? I responded, it looks like you are admitting that you don't really have an actual THD. To which he said, if you don't believe I have a THD, that is not my problem. I don't have anything to prove to you. So let's not go what? <laughs> let's not go MAGA on me. Well, to be fair, he may very well have a THD. I don't doubt at all that he got something from this school. But since he is publicly advertising himself as a doctor with a THD, then it's perfectly fair and reasonable to ask about this and how he accomplished this in just one year. To respond with insults about MAGA is not only inappropriate, it is really strange. How in the world does asking about a theological doctorate degree have anything to do with politics? Anyways, unfortunately, as we have seen in other videos, this is very common in the anti-tithing community. People make all sorts of claims, but when pressed for evidence, they will accuse or insult you. This is a problem because when people teach in favor of tithing, they will demand of them all sorts of evidence. But when anti-tithers get asked, they respond with insult. Now, I will do a more in-depth review of the book in an upcoming video, but one big problem is that he says, I offer my deepest thanks to Dr. Russell Kelly for all of his vast tithing research. Wow. He says, no matter what position anyone takes on tithing, you cannot ignore scholarship, hermeneutics, and proper exegesis, and then proceeds immediately to cite Kelly. But Kelly's entire book and argument is based upon the claim that tithe was only from Mosaic law. And in order to make this claim, he has to attack Abraham, and he does so by making the outrageous claim that Melchizedek offered child sacrifices and promoted incest and sex with animals. But for this accusation, Kelly does not and cannot offer even one single shred of evidence because no such evidence exists and I made a video refuting that. It is remarkable that the anti-tithing community has these quote scholars and PhDs and THDs, yet they make these outrageous claims with zero evidence and then turn around and cite each other as experts for their vast tithing research. Generally, as a rule of thumb, if you read anything that cites Kelly, it's going to be a train wreck. There are quite a few people in academia and higher education that do not like tithing, and if there was any truth at all or evidence to make such slanderous accusations about Melchizedek, they would publish this repeatedly, but you hear nothing. Many people in the anti-tithing community won't even cite from Kelly because it's just so extreme, but Dr. Chase, THD here, he, he thinks it's great. The reason that this video is important is because Dr. Chase, THD, makes very serious public accusations. He calls people liars and says preachers do not actually tell the whole truth. They spin, confuse, juxtapose, obfuscate, and equivocate concerning the real tithing facts. He claims that theological seminaries fail to educate Bible students and that theological schools are just teaching people to regurgitate the mind of the professor, which does not constitute legitimate biblical scholarship. Legitimate. <laughs> These are very big accusations. If you are going to publish books making all sorts of wild sweeping accusations and claim to know what is real biblical scholarship while claiming to have an advanced doctorate degree, then you have the greater responsibility to provide actual evidence for your claims. And to prove the point, I will cite an example from his book. There are many problems, but here is just one. On page 250, he cites tithe teachers abusing the quote, I said so argument, but literally in the same paragraph, he says, Abram tithed once in his life when he was 80 years old and never tithed again. But how in the world does he know that? There is no evidence for this. Abraham lived for 175 years. How does Dr. Chase, THD, know that for all these 175 years, Abraham never tithed again? That is complete speculation. The Bible only records Abraham calling on the Lord three times. 
Does this mean that he called on the Lord only three times in 175 years? How does he know what Abraham did or did not do? He criticizes people for using the I said so argument, but he himself literally in the same paragraph uses an I said so argument. As we have seen in other videos, anti-tithers are notorious for doing this. They repeatedly accuse others of doing exactly what they do. He then later in the book says that people who disagree with him, quote, suffer from cognitive dissonance. Anyways, yeah, sure. In summary, does he have a THD? Well, that certainly is possible. To his credit, he said, I am certain other authors will write books that rebut what I have written. Now, that sentence right there, that is true. If you are interested, he also has a YouTube channel with reviewing different wines. If you want to see him open the bottle and drink and describe what are the best wines and wines that are not so good, they do reviews there. It's not very often that we get to see someone with a doctorate degree in theology provide reviews of wine, so there's that. Anyways, that's it for today. To learn more, please see my other videos, and as always, thank you for watching.